It's a conventional saying among Americans that nothing is certain except death and taxes, but not if you're a clever corporation. Turns out some of the big American companies so much a part of your day are finding innovative ways to dodge the tax man. David Muir is on that money trail. The report finds that Google has done some searching of its own for countries overseas where it can avoid U.S. taxes. Over the last three years, Google has saved $3 billion in income taxes. $3 billion. $3 billion with a B, yeah. Even though Google is primarily a U.S. company based in Northern California, all of the profits it makes overseas never come back to the U.S. and therefore never get taxed here. And here's how. Google licensed some of the intellectual property it created here in the U.S. to a subsidiary in Ireland. But it turns out Google's overseas profits don't even get taxed there because Google then reportedly funnels those profits through the Netherlands and then to, of all places, Bermuda where the corporate tax rate is zero. But how much of what Google does is actually in Bermuda? So you went to Bermuda. Yes. Did you find a, a massive Google headquarters there? No. Instead, what he found was this simple office building. No Google sign to be found anywhere. And it turns out just three employees, two lawyers and a manager. And had Google not set up this money trail that ends up in Bermuda? Those profits would all come back to the US where they would be taxed here. Correct. But what Google is doing is all perfectly legal, all allowed by U.S. tax law. Bloomberg reports that Microsoft uses a similar strategy and that Facebook reportedly is in the process of doing so too. All decline comment, but economists say there are countless companies doing this, costing the U.S. about $60 billion in tax dollars every year. That's enough to pay for 1.2 million public school teachers, to pay 48,000 miles of highway, to pay for a year of college for 8.5 million students. The average American family in the middle of this country is going to look at this and say, I can't send my assets to Bermuda to get a lower tax rate. Why should Google or any other company be able to do this? That's a very fair question, and I don't have a great answer for that. And what is Google saying tonight? Well, they're telling us the same thing they told Google, uh, Bloomberg at first, that their practices are similar to those at countless other global companies. But, Diane, I talked to a former U.S. Treasury official who said, don't completely blame the companies, the corporations here blame Congress. He says lawmakers know full well what's going on here. All right, and our thanks to Bloomberg for all their reporting on this story.